Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Irene. Today I'm going to be doing a little tarantula feeding video for you guys. And I'm not going to show every tarantula in my collection because I have a lot of slings so they're not going to eat on camera. I know that for sure. But let's get into the video. This is the first tarantula that I want to show you. This is my grandma Solopokra. Also my first tarantula. I got him or her around last year, August, I believe. Like, I don't think he wants to eat on camera because I think he's near Primo, but I'll give it a try anyways. Do you want a piece? No. Yeah, he doesn't want to eat. I'm going to take this out. <laughs> I named him Bubble because, you know, bubble tea, bubble tea, because I really like bubble tea, and he looks like a tapioca to me. He's really cute, but he's also really shy, and he kind of buried my crystal that I gave him. It's so annoying. Um, and next one, we have this little Brocky Pelma Homori. It's a confirmed female, so pretty cool. I have a little Mexican retiny. And I want to see if you will eat for us. Oh, so cute! I think that's like a really small meal for you. I'll feed you more when you finish, okay? I can't think of a name for her yet. Um, uh, so if you guys have any idea, please let me know. And next one we have um, this little Siri Cosmos Elegant. If you ask me, this is my favorite tarantulas. I have two other smaller ones. Um, they are unsexed, but this one I know for sure it's a female. So one thing about this girl, I got her last year August. And until now, she only ate once for me. I don't think she's going to eat on camera. Um, but let's see anyways. I have a little wax worm for you. Oh, she's scared of it. Yes, yes or no? You're putting your foot on it, but then you're backing away. What? Yes or no? <laughs> okay, I guess that's a no. I'm I'm so confused. What do you want? Okay, I I'll leave this in for a little bit and you can decide. And this one is my Arizona Blondes enclosure. Her name is Hazel, confirmed female. Ew, what is this? Wait, she pooped here. Mm, let's see if she will come out. It's feeding time. I guess she's not hungry. No, 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 she's hungry. Aww. I just want to look at you. You're so cute. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is my little pumpkin patch. Like, kind of like this small, but... They already have their adult colorations. I'm not going to feed this on camera because it's going to take forever for them to eat. just want to show you how cool these little guys are when they are a sling. Uh, this is my Bluefoot Baboom. I just unboxed this little guy recent. I mean girl recently. So these guys actually make a little trap door. But this, this girl isn't ready to build it yet because she just got in into this enclosure. Let's appreciate these little blue legs before she builds her trapdoor and never see her again. <laughs> but would you eat for us? Ooh. Did she? Did you take it? <laughs> I assume you take it. I took it um I 
don't know what that means, but I'm going to close the lid. Oh, look. I found someone who's going to eat for sure. This is my little GBB. I think it's a female, but I'm not pro at sexting their molt. So, I'll see in the next molt. I'm just going to open the lid for a little bit because she is crazy. Nope. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay. What a takedown. I think she's around two inches right now. Her colors are really, really coming out. It is so pretty. One thing I don't like about the GBB is they kick hair. And I don't like hair kicking. I would rather get bit. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Man, I still can't get over the fact that she is so pretty. Oh. And this one, if you can see here, that's my little sea darlingy, rear horn baboon. Um, she is pretty, she is a pretty good eater. So, I will see if she will take something. Wait, you have mold in your enclosure. Ew. I know that this might be a little too big for her, but I'll crush the head so she doesn't get hurt. You guys are my babies. I will never let you guys get hurt. Mm, she's coming out, she's coming out. Oh, see her little foot. Oh, <laughs> and this one is my little Grandma Sola conception. They are really similar to the G Rosea appearance-wise. Oh, she's running away. She's not happy with the light. Is my camera focusing? She's so cute. She dug out a little spot behind this cork. She is so cute when she raises her little butt. I'm not even gonna try to feed her because I know she is in primo. I am not a pro tarantula keeper, um, but that's all I can say. And this is my M. Balfouri. Um, I suspect that she's a female. I mean, at least that's what the seller told me. Um, she has got some adult colorations already and I named her Kiwi. Because her butt looks like a kiwi to me. Does that not look like a kiwi to you? I feel like I'm creeping into her bedroom like a stalker. I'm sorry. Butt is kind of big, so I won't feed her today. I'm sorry, little girl. Before you guys go, I want to show you quickly three of my Avix. This is my A Metallica. He kind of built this, um tunnel back here this weird I don't know what kind of shape this is maybe a triangle but sh that's her and that's her dead body and this is a dubia roaches that she took it and like I, I can't get it out like like without destroying her home so so if it doesn't mold then I won't take it out get that little pink and fluffy legs and this one is my Elicuvaria Miniatrix. You guys probably can't see very well, but they have this beautiful, like, tiger stripe pattern on their bud. But she's not facing me right now. Like, Do you want a tiny wax worm? Oops. I meant to throw it in the hole, <laughs> but you'll get it later, right? And this is my little Avicularia gerensis. They're supposed to have this um purple coloration when they're adults, but you can't really see right now. But Thank you guys so much for watching until the end. And if you like my video, you can subscribe for more and I'll try to upload on a weekly basis. And feel free to check out my other videos and I'll see you guys next week.